Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And we continue our discussion with Gazelle, with Shiri, and with Gregory. And um, this this literally was happening as we had the conversation. And we're launching a LinkedIn page. And so, as we said, or as I said yesterday, if you can, so if you're Basically, women are getting this a hell of a lot. So if you can send screenshots, all the messages you've been sent in the comments below, what we're doing is we're starting a LinkedIn page called LinkedIn Me Too. And we're going to um, put this abuse front and center of a conversation in the same way as it occurred in the film industry or in the music industry because sexual violence is something which is endemic for it to be so ubiquitous is horrifying and so i urge you to please leave your comments because once we start to talk about this more and more then people will start to say oh yeah, I didn't speak up to defend that person. Oh, I let that person get away with that sexist comment. Because you have to be proactive to generate the society that we deserve to live in. All right, enjoy the show. So let's, um, that frankly is a, is alarming. And I, I, you know, I, as a man, I can't imagine the feeling of, it must be it must be like um, being burgled in that it's violating for someone to make that sort of suggestion. And we saw with Shiri what an amazing person she is, what a brain, what a business. And let's now hear from Gazelle. Yeah, actually, I have a lot to say. Um, the uh, first of all, greetings from Gail. Um, Gazo, I'm so honored to uh, to be in this Zoom meeting with uh, me, uh, Mr. McDonald and uh, you, Sherry and uh, Gregory. I'm so happy to see you guys. Thank you so much for having me. Um, first of all, um, I uh, it, my LinkedIn account is uh, I think it's uh, since 2000, uh, 2013. I opened my uh, a LinkedIn, uh, my LinkedIn account. Then um, I, 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 I found out that LinkedIn is a very professional platform and there is no one, even one person to propose me or to tell, uh, you know, to talk about his imagination of my body or, um, you know, this kind of nasty conversation. Uh, and I wouldn't think like I will meet this famous, but uh, unfortunately, I met someone uh, who were like, oh my goodness, <laughs> you know, they were like a headache. I even met scammers. And what kind of scammers? You know, they were coming to me and my sister, both of us, because they knew from our, uh, our uh, surname that we are sisters. <laughs> then they were coming to us, yeah, we fall in love with you. We really love you. We are going to marry you while my sister is taken. I was single all the time. Uh, yeah, we're going to marry you, then we can help you to go Australia, Canada, you know, because uh, uh, they know we Iranians, we're always struggling to move another country. And uh, actually, we are not happy in our own country, you know, as a woman. Then um, they were like, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Then, you know, after a while, they would keep, uh, keep saying us, you know, the uh, beautiful words, uh, lovely words. Uh, then uh, uh, in the beginning, they, they were like, uh, sorry, in the middle of the conversation, uh, after a few days, uh, they were like, yeah, we got a baby, you know, we, I, I'm divorced and my wife didn't like me and I'm divorced. Um, I have a baby boy. Every All of them, they had one baby boy. And that baby boy, <laughs> for all of them, it was uh, 14 years old. You know, I think it was all from the same person. Then, yeah, I look at my baby boy. Uh, he's stuck in the U.S. Uh, and you know they were giving us some stupid thoughts. I mean, some stupid words. Uh, he's talking the U.S. And you know, I'm into army. I'm working with an uh, army of Australia. Then um, I can't help him at all. And now he he needs money. Uh, sometimes he was saying a uh, one hundred dollars, uh, four hundred dollars, you know, even a thousand dollars. And it was like, 
uh, even euros, you know, they were like, okay, uh, uh, 300 euros. You know, the, the currency will be changed time to time. Once my sister, she was, I think my sister is so naive. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, look, this person, he sent me an email and now he's in, he, he needs us. I think we should help him. I said, no, he, he's a scammer. Then, because what I found uh, is uh, anyone in military or uh, any army person, they are not allowed to have a public account in social media ah. what i found okay especially the countries like uk us canada australia new zealand what i got you you correct me if i'm wrong but i got that you know i i searched a lot about it that no army person is allowed to have an account in linkedin or any other social presence then you know they were giving us some uh, very nice words like you know uh, they are touching your heart mm. because they know how women are you know they are touching your heart they, they keep talking talking and you know my sister she was keep blocking the person but uh, he was uh, creating new email and he was sending emails to my sister um even to me to both of us even a few days ago i i received another email from the same person with two emails at the same time like uh, Alex is the dad and Michael is the boy, is uh, his son. And he was like, <laughs> I'm foolish and I don't understand. You know, both are the same person. It is not, uh, for me, for my experience, yes, I had someone uh, propose me, you know, today he sent me a connection request. I was like, yeah, this profile looks professional. Okay, so I accepted then tomorrow. Uh, you are my dreamy girl. I feel like um, uh, I was always looking for someone like you. Will you marry me? excuse me in linkedin you came and you're asking me to marry you another thing which hurts me a lot um is what's your religion then they want to talk uh you know they want to argue with me about religion they are from uh you know uh, they got different religion my religion is different that they keep asking me what's your religion what you do who's your god come on we are not here you know to talk about God and what's my, who's my God, who's your God, it's none of it. All of us business, okay? What makes then you? It, it, what? Yes. What do you think is the reason why they would ask you that question? 